beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Fang, and i'm really excited about today's video because today we're going to be working on valentine's day nails Yay! i'm so freaking excited to work on today's nails because i'm going to be trying out something really different hold on let me show you so last night i made this little guy look it's a little cut out heart and i was supposed to make another half you know cut out another hole so that it could complete the heart but for some reason friend i just couldn't do it <laughs> but i made this one and it looks really cute this design is really popular on instagram and on tiktok so i decided that why not give it a try and let's film myself trying to figure it out what do you think do you think we could do it i don't know i'm a little scared but let's try it out anyways come along with me friend Now for today's nails, I am going to be using these 3XL full cover press on nails. I can't link these because whenever I try to link anything from Miss Allison Express, I always get my comment section turned off by YouTube. So if you guys would like to know the seller that I purchased these tips from, go ahead and check out my Instagram. And on my story highlights, I have included a picture of the press on nails along with a little picture of the seller whom I bought the press on nail tips from. These tips were only five bucks friend and you get a lot of them so i definitely do think it's worth it so go ahead check out my instagram and take a screenshot of the seller so you could get these tips too oh where'd it go it flew away but yeah these tips <laughs> guess what friend i got some new press on nail stands look they're so pretty and clean and they're pink Okay friends, so here are my nails on my press on nail stand. I am going to do four square nails and then for the pinky, I am going to do a nice pointy stiletto. So for the pinky, I used a regular size seven, grabbed my little scissors right here. I clipped the tip like so, like that. Just to make a point, let me make it pointier. Like that, you see friend? And then I took a nail file. Shout out to my girl Joyce for giving me these nail files. Joyce was one of my students for my bling class last weekend. <laughs> and with my nail file, I am just going to shape the sides like so. I'm going to create a little point. A sharp, sharp little point. See? And I'm going to be doing the other side. Filing with gloves low-key sucks because look, you make... I always end up ripping my gloves. And this is what your nail should look like once you are done filing it down to a tip or to a point. See? Pointy. Bloop. Now I'm going to buff them. I'm going to be using this cute little pink buffing block. And I'm going to buff them to add texture to them. Hmm, these little buffing blocks work really good. 10 out of 10 recommend. See? And now um, I should buff the rest of my nails out. But I'm going to leave these ones as is. And I'm only going to buff the thumb. And that is because I have something really cool planned for these three nails, okay? So just be patient with me and you will see what we will do with these, okay friends? Now let's buff the thumb. Okay friends, so this is what my nails are looking like after I have already um, buffed them. 
so as i mentioned before i only buffed my pinky and i buffed my thumb and i'm going to be leaving these three nails clear because i want to show you something that i did yesterday hold on give me a second look isn't she really cute it's like a glitter french and i know some of you guys are going to be like why are we flipping out over this glitter french well friends this is a super duper lazy glitter french you guys already know that i'm the queen of shortcuts like i don't like to do extra work i don't like to file i don't like to use acrylic i don't like to use a drill so i like to do things as easy as possible so guess what i did i filled the back up with um clear gel polish and then i just uh added glitter to the back now i know a lot of people are going to ask me if you could feel the texture of the glitter and you can but it's not that bad all you have to do is just take your finger and press the glitter down before you set it in the uv lamp and it, sh it should be pretty flat uh granted mine doesn't look that flat but it doesn't feel that textured when I touch it. You know what I mean? Here's a little close-up. Hold on, let me zoom you in a little bit more so you guys can see what it looks like. Doesn't it look super cool? Here's the back. I stopped the glitter right here. And I kept it blank right here so that we could glue on our nails and there won't be a problem. So um, if you guys want to see how I do this, stick around and I'll show you guys how. I'm so excited. I love working with glitter. So since it is the Gappy Gabentine's Day, aka Valentine's Day, guess what I did? I put all of my glitters in heart containers. I thought it'd be really, really cute and super festive. Look! I love them! What is that little magnet doing back there? Huh? Garbage. I also put my bling. Look. How cute! This is so Vanity Val. I love it! These are actually for lip balm, but I thought they'd be cute for glitter, huh? Okay, so I know I said that I was going to do this little hack on these three nails, but I think I'm only going to do it on these two. This one I'm going to leave blank. I, I want to add bling to this one, so I'm going to glitter these ones out. Let's get started for real for real now. I'm hella excited. I can't wait to show you this because look, this is so pretty. How could you like not want this on your nails? Okay, so let me show you how I did it. Okay, friends. So to catch all the glitter, I'm going to use this little clear container right here. I'm also going to be using this little thingy right here. And a toothpick. You guys could use any other tool. I'm just using it because of this flat part right here. Okay, and now I'm going to grab some top coat. This is my shiny top coat by Lisa Jo Nails. And I'm only going to add a little bit of the clear top coat in here like so. Just a little bit. I'm going to be using these little hearts. These red hearts. And these white hearts right here. By the way, these little glitters are all from a cart. So with my toothpick... I am going to grab a little bit of the clear gel and I'm just going to press a dot in here. I'm going to pick up a heart and I'm going to press it into the clear gel like so. I'm going to grab my little light right here and I'm going to set her. See that? Now we have a little red heart. Okay, so let's do another one. I have dipped into my clear gel. Now I'm going to grab a red heart. Press her in. And set. And this is what my hearts are looking like so far. I know the nail looks a little crusty, but it's okay, friend. When we add the rest of the glitter to the back of it, you won't be able to tell or see the clear gel nail polish around the hearts. So now let's add the pink hearts. Like that.
And this is what my nail is looking like so far with the pink hearts. So it looks like on the inside. Now I'm going to do white hearts. Okay, friends, so this is what my nails are looking like so far. I have added my red hearts, my pink hearts, and my white hearts, and I also added small little white hearts, like teeny tiny little ones. Can you see them? In between the big hearts. And now, the fun part. Let's dig into the rest of our glitters, and let's go crazy. Okay, loves, so these are the glitters that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be mostly using this beautiful hot pink glitter that I got from Michaels, aka Mikael's. Okay, so this is the nail that I'm going to be working on. It's this one right here. Sorry, my camera's a little shaky. I'm going to paint on a layer of clear gel nail polish starting right here. I'm not going to put gel nail polish all the way to the cuticle area, just where my glitter is. Okay, and now that I have added my layer of clear gel nail polish, while the polish is still wet, I'm going to grab a little brush. I am going to pick up a little bit of the glitter. And I'm just going to start randomly patting it into the nail, like that. Try to flatten it down as you pat it. I'm going to be just randomly placing it throughout my wet gel nail polish. I don't really have a specific like plan or pattern. This is honestly my first time doing something like this, so I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. So <laughs> just follow me throughout this journey, friend. I'm going to add a little bit of this baby pink. I'm going to clean my brush really quick. I'm going to grab some little wipes. some isopropyl alcohol all better I'm going to dip into the baby pink and now I'm going to dip into this really pretty iridescent clear glitter oh y'all i just spilt it mm, I'm so sad. oh well what am i gonna do let's add it to the nail so this is honestly my favorite glitter i got it from the san jose flea market and i have never been able to find anything similar to this ever again this is what my nail is looking like so far should we add more glitter Hmm, I say, yes ma'am, let's add some of these, okay, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, oof, I kinda added a little bit too much, my bad, fix it, Jesus, okay, I'm done, I think I'm done, I don't think I'm going to add any more glitter, so I am going to set this in the UV lamp really quick, and then we're going to flip it upside down to see what it looks like. Are you ready, friend? Because I'm ready. And while that's sitting in the UV lamp, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try my best to recreate that little glitter mix on the rest of my nails. <laughs> Dang, you guys, look at this mess that I just made. My desk. Insane! All I did was add glitter, and <laughs> I think I need a bigger desk. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, friends, so here are all my nails set. They're already out of the UV lamp. And look how pretty and shiny they look. Wow. They all came out so freaking cute. I love the color combo. Okay, now let's flip them over so that we can see what it looks like. Flip. 
I love this glitter mix. It looks so pretty. Awesome. They all look so dope. Now um, I'm going to seal the bottoms with a layer of clear gel nail polish just so that the glitter doesn't flake off. And I'm going to seal the inside. Okay, loves, so this is what they look like against a white background and now the backs have also been set with clear gel nail polish and I know I'm going to get a couple questions about these. I know I'm going to get questions as to why didn't I use base coat and the reason why I didn't want to use base coat is because base coat is a little cloudy uh, so I decided to use clear coat instead and it works out perfectly fine. And I know another concern is going to be won't these peel off because you didn't use base coat and what I mean peel off is the the whole entire glitter will the glitter peel off like you like a sticker and i don't think so friend it feels pretty sturdy i'll let you guys know if it does but to be honest it seems pretty set in there uh sometimes you don't need base coat friend these are plastic nails so base coat isn't necessary at all time and the third question that i think i'm also going to get is why didn't i fill it all the way to the bottom and the reason why i didn't fill the glitter or i didn't put glitter all the way to the bottom is because this is where my natural nail is going to be and i'm kind of scared that if i do put glitter all the way to the bottom and then i seal it with the clear top coat and then i add the nail onto my finger with the glue that i use which is the Nikwa nail bond i'm scared that my nail will get trapped like on a car door or on a drawer or something like that and the whole entire design is going to peel off because of the nail glue does that make any sense and so that is why i didn't add a clear coat or glitter in this area right here because this is where my natural nail is and this is where i will be applying the glue i don't really have naturally long nails if you guys are new to my channel i am a nail biter a serious nail biter i have little nubs so um i don't really need that much space for my glue so yeah if you have any more questions or concerns about these little nails please let me know in the comment section down below and i hope i've inspired you to create your own little i guess fake uh encapsulated press on nails <laughs> i guess these are like a lazier version of the lazy girl slash femi girl method what do you guys think friend will you guys be trying this out so let's move on now because i want to make these look like frenchies so if you want to know how to do that stick around friend and now i am going to take a little buffing block and i'm going to buff the surface of my nail And once I am done um, buffing them, I'm going to get rid of the excess dust by cleaning them off with isopropyl alcohol. So since this set is for Valentine's Day, let's go, let's use a bright, bright pink. And I'm going to go ahead with my favorite pink by No Arik Delay, and it is Electric Rose. I added a little drop in my little heart. And I'm going to grab this pink nail art brush. I added a pink dot right here. Okay, can you see? And now I'm going to add a line going down the middle. Like that. See my little line? Actually, friends, I'm going to use a much thinner brush, okay? I'm going to go back in with my Winstonia nail art brush. I got this brush from Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to add a curved line right here. Now I'm going to add another. Now I'm going to grab another brush and I'm just going to fill it in. What do you think? Do you like it? Oops. I think I like it, friends. That's what the sides look like. I love it, friend. Yeah, I think I did a good job. Very proud of her. So now I am going to do the rest. Wish me luck, friends, because um, 
this is a little difficult. All right, friends. So here are my friends. Super cute. I love them. I'm going to do a second layer of the pink on them so it's not so see-through, translucent. I'm going to do it with this brush right here. Okay, friends, so here are my little French, my little Frenchies. They look super cute. And now I am going to add a juicy layer of clear top coat over them to seal the pink Frenchie and so that our glitter could pop. Are you ready for it? Wow, it literally looks like we capped it with acrylic or poly gel or hard gel. It looks so pretty, friends. I'll probably be doing this really quick and easy encapsulation hack on my nails more often because look how easy and look how cool it looks. I am going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds to seal it. Are you ready to see what they look like? Bloop. Now, they look really cute and I love them and I'm obsessed with them. Um, However, can you... But the boo-boo. The boo-boo is in this nail. I don't know why, but it kind of clouded a little bit around here. And it's not as clear. Same thing with this one. I don't know if it's the gel polish. Or it's a me thing. To be honest, the little boo-boos don't bother me that much. Because we could cover them up with charms. You already know me. The charmier, the better. This is what they look like up close. Look, friend. So that you could see at home. Get a good look at these. What should we tackle next? I think I'm going to paint these two nails really quick before I move on to my heart nail, okay? Just so that I can already have my base color down. Okay, right. so these are the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, Electric Rose by No Addict LA and my favorite red by No Addict LA called Red Addict. Mine is pretty crispy. Once you guys see me paint this pinky, it's going to be your favorite red too. Do you think I could get a mini hand clap for how pretty this stiletto shape is? Yay! Mini hand clap! Wow, I always get really scared to do different shapes because I suck at shaping, but I think I might try to do a, a stiletto shape next. Look, I even felt hella brave. I tried to do a lipstick shape, and I think my lipstick came out pretty cute. A little sharp, but cute AF. Okay, I'm gonna go set these guys. I'm gonna go set these in the UV lamp for 60 seconds, and I'll be right back. So this is what my nails look like with two layers of gel nail polish. Now I'm going to top them off with clear gel nail polish. Okay, so the pink nails, I'm going to matte out. Oh no, I got some glitter on it by accident. And the red nails, I'm going to add shiny top coat. So this is what my matte pink nail looks like. Can you see? And here's what my red nail looks like. Ooh, the set is coming together. Okay, so now let's work on the heart nail. Are you ready? Okay, so this is how I did my first heart nail. And you could choose to do the heart facing you or to do the heart facing the other way. But I like it when um, shapes and charms face in my direction. A lot of people get mad at me when I do that, but it's okay, friend. It's just a preference. Nothing to get mad at. It's just nails. There are no rules to nails. You can do whatever you want. And to cut out the little heart shape, we are going to need these little scissors. Hmm. I wish I had a pencil. 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 So here is my thumbnail and I have buffed it with my little pink buffing block. And the reason why I did that is so that I could draw on it with the pencil. Okay, so I really like the shape of my original heart, so. Do you think this will work? <gasps> it did! What the heck? I am going to do this heart. So it ends right here, right? And it starts right there. 
highest point is here. Okay, let's try and draw it out. like it and why don't i like it because it's not even that's why i don't like it and look at that look at that heart look at that <laughs> so can i can i erase it heck yeah we can i'm talking about me i'm talking about me i'm talking about us i'm talking about we cool all right all right all right all right okay so i think that's good right i mean if it comes out a little wonky, it's okay, friend. We have to stop being perfectionists. We are beginners. We... Yeah. So I'm just going to go for it, and I'm going to cut the heart out with my little scissors, okay? Just go for it. Hold your breath. Just go for it. Just go for it, Val. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Be really careful when cutting, because you could crack the nail. Okay, cool. Yay! Our first our first heart cut out. Let's do it. I actually had a little technical difficulty with the second half of the heart, but I think I did a good job overall for my first try or my second try. Look. Here are my little pieces. Here's my nail. Whoa! I am so happy we did it on the first try. Yeah. Even posting it about me on Instagram and telling you guys I'm so excited about the kind of heart. And I was like, oh no! I have to try that. to clean it up with a nail file. And the keyword is try. <laughs> Since these nails are press ons, these are really flimsy. Uh, I might need to add like a layer of base coat and a really thick layer of clear gel nail polish in order to sturdy these up. And if these aren't sturdy enough with all the layers of base coat and gel nail polish, I might need to use hard gel. Okay, so I'm gonna try to sturdy these up with some base coat. And once I've added a layer of base coat to both of my nails, I'm going to pop it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and hopefully this sturdies them up a little bit. I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, well Val, why don't you just use IPD gel? And the thing is, friend, I'm just not in the mood for filing and buffing and shaping and all that stuff today. Look how pretty, friend. They look so cute. Okay, I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds really quick. Well, don't hate me, but I kind of want to do a sugar nail. I know I said no sugar nails, but I feel like this cutout heart deserves to be a sugar nail friend. We just have to. We can make a pretty cute pink uh, glitter mix, and yeah, it'll be really cute. You will love it. Okay, friend, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, the reason why I say don't be mad is because I do a sugar nail almost every single video. It's just that I just love doing sugar nails. So let's make our own pretty custom little mix. Take some of this. This pink. Oh. And I'll take a, a splash of this. And a little bit of this um, powder. I'm going to scoop a little bit of it out with mix. Looks the same, huh? <laughs> Let's dump it on our heart nails. And once they're out, 
I'm going to brush off the excess glitter. So cute! Okay, so let's see what the rest of our set is looking like so far. So what do you think? What do you think, friends? The colors are making me so happy. Like, I can't. Wow. The pinks and the reds. So valentiny. Or valentiny. Or valentiny. I don't know. It's a word that I just made up so I could say whatever the heck I want. It's valentiny. <laughs> You're going to be really excited, friend, because I found some really awesome charms. <laughs> So I found these really cool, like extra, extra large lollipop dangly charms at Hobby Lobby this weekend. And I thought they would be perfect for today's set. I know they are really big, but I don't mind a big dangly charm. As a matter of fact, I'm actually really excited for the big dangly charm. And I also have these uh, red 3D hearts, these full fur pom-poms, and some candies. And let's see where we could place all of these. So to apply my 3D charms... I am going to use my favorite Lisette Gel Nails Bling It Gel and I'm going to use my bling. So off camera, I went ahead and I customized my little charms a little bit by adding some glitter to them and I feel like it makes them look so much cuter. Look, it makes them pop. And I'm going to add my glue onto my nail like so going to add my candy I put my charms on my nails I'm gonna pop it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds so that they don't wobble to the sides I'm sorry friend but I think I wasn't recording when I added my bear <laughs> but I added my bear onto my nail To this one, I'm gonna add this lollipop thing and a bear. Okay, and now that I have my charms on here, I actually want to add my little lollipops now. So my gummy bear nails are going to be the nails that I'm going to be drilling a hole through. And the reason why I have them on this money box is because I don't want the um the drill to go through my desk. <laughs> Oh, why did it stop? Oh, girl, it's about to go crazy. Why did it get stuck? Girl, why is it stuck? Oh, okay. Why? Well, hey, at least we have like a hole. Okay, so here are my nails with holes in them. So the lollipops originally came with silver hoops, but I changed it to gold hoops. Okay, loves. So I have opened up my little gold hoop, looped it through my little hole. And now I'm going to take my candy. I'm going to use cuticle clippers to shut it closed. But I suggest using um, those little pliers. And look, we have a lollipop. Unfortunately, this lollipop Dick is kind of crooked. So it looks a little wonky. But that's okay. They're so big. And they're so funny. Oh my god. These are so fun and gorgeous. I love them. What do you think, friend? Would you ever wear a large charm like this? <laughs> this honestly is a little big. So I wouldn't get offended if you guys don't like it. And so I have something really fun planned for our middle nails here. I'm going to grab some glue and plop my spinner charm on there. Plop. And here are our little spinner charms. This one doesn't spin as much. So I want to add um, a 3D charm to these spinning charmies. And this is the 3D gem that I want to add to it. Look how pretty. Okay, so instead of adding glue to the spinner, I'm going to add glue to the charm. By the way, excuse my little nubs. I'm a nail biter, so 
my nails look disgusting. Set it. Are you ready to see the spinning gems friend? Look. Don't they look hella adorable? I was going to leave it as is, but girl, this needs a whole bling. Okay, so these are the gems that I'm going to be using. I'll be linking everything down in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to be using my McCart rhinestone glue. I'm going to bling it out really fast, okay, friend? And here is the bling that I ended up coming up with. And it has glue all over the place. So I'm going to take a little brush with some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to clean up the glue. Because this is a matte nail. So we don't want it to look really messy. And now I'm going to add more bling. Just a little bit. And this is what it looks like out of the UV lamp, friends. Isn't it so pretty? I love her. Now with the same matte um, gel polish, I'm going to go around my gems. Just to seal them in. And to also get rid of any of the shininess from the glue. And while that's setting, I'm going to add some bling to these nails right here. Just a little bit. So here is what my set is looking like so far. What do you think? I love it! It's currently 2.30 in the morning right now. And we still have lots to go. <laughs> So the next nail that I want to work on is our little half heart nail. So I'm going to add glue around the border of my half heart. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to add my bling. Okay, so I'm going to start off super duper tiny. And I'm going to get bigger as I go. So I'm going to start off with tiny gems. And then I'm going to start getting bigger. See that, friend? Look, friend. So this is what it looks like. She looks super pretty. Okay, so off camera, I added tiny little AB gems in between my red gems in my little half heart nail. And I'm going to do the same to this one really quick. I used these really, really, really tiny AB gems. And I got this little kit from McCart. Glue. And I'm going to add my bling. Okay. And this is what it looks like when it's out. I'm going to clean off the wax off of my gems with some isopropyl alcohol. Isn't she hella pretty? Looks like a piece of jewelry. What do you think? Okay, so now let's move on to our last nails, friend. I'm tired. What time is it? Guys, I just checked the time and it's 3 a.m. 
spooky. And so now I'm going to bling out this pointy red nail. I have already added glue to it. And here are what both of my nails look like. Aren't they super cute, friend? It's already 4 o'clock in the morning. And to be honest, friend, I'm a little tired. <laughs> so, good night. And I will see you in a couple hours. Well, alright, friend. So, what do you think? Now let's talk about these little hearts before um, I apply these on my nails. So unfortunately, because we cut out the majority of the nail, they are still a little flimsy. They are much sturdier now that I added um, bling glue and bling to the border of the, um, of the open heart. This little border right here but they are still a little flimsy if you are a little paranoid that these will bend like an l on you i suggest putting ipt gel in the back of the nail sorry there's a whole bunch of like blue fun tack putty on my nail and also be very 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 careful with how low you cut out your heart i was not paying attention to how low i cut out my heart and fortunately it was enough to cover my whole entire nail okay so this is my natural nail on my thumb i'm a nail biter i know i have really nubby fingernails and this is my heart nail and if i were to cut a little bit more i would have cut into the press on nail where it covers my natural nail bed and um that would have been really bad so just warning when you cut out your little heart maybe i should have stopped my heart here where this stone is but other than that i feel like this design is really cute and i definitely recommend that you guys try it out and if you guys are a press on nail business definitely try to make these sturdier because these will bend on your clients i'm not a press on nail business but i know i have a lot of press on nail businesses that do follow me so just giving you that little bit of advice okay friend i'm going to be applying these on my hands um off camera really quick and i'll be right back i'm going to be modeling these with my blue fun tack putty i won't be applying them with nail glue because i have to create a new set right after this one i'm going to be creating another valentine's day set i'm actually really excited to show you before i leave i wanted to say thank you so much to everybody that commented on my bling class vlog you guys were so sweet and you guys were so supportive and you guys left me the most beautiful messages i'm honestly crying to this day because honestly the messages that you guys left on that vlog were so touching and they're just so inspiring and they're so motivating thank you so much my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend i hope you guys really enjoyed last week's vlog and if you guys haven't checked it out please check it out and also don't forget to check out my merch store for some reason youtube doesn't really promote any of my new designs and i come up with all of my own designs and i work really hard on that so if you guys would like to purchase a bougie friend sweater or a bougie friend water bottle check out my vanity Val spring merch store i will be linking it down in the description box below and i will see you guys next week my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friends thank you so much for all of the love and support and hopefully you guys will enjoy my next valentine's day set i love you bye